I'm Michael Yeo, I'm 45 years old, and I'm a stand-up comedian. I love comedy so much, but I never knew I could be a stand-up comedian. I did local radio in Houston, I went to Austin, went to Miami, and I got a call to come to LA to do TV on E. So I all of a sudden became an entertainment news correspondent. All I did was go out and interview celebrities. Are you ready to climb? Ready. At this show, I've interviewed Howie. I've interviewed Simon. I've interviewed Heidi Klum. I interviewed Eric and Sofia Vergara on the set of Modern Family. And I love that. But when you interview celebrities, they're 100% living out their dream. And I'm sitting there going, <laughs> huh, is my best life interviewing these people or going for what I want to go for? Yeah. Yeah. About two years ago, I had a long talk with my wife, and I go, look, this is not going to be easy. We're going to lose a lot of money, but I need to go after my dream. I love you guys. You're going to do so good. And she goes, whatever we need to do, let's do it. I got you back. And that's what's so amazing about She has 100% she has my back. My wife is amazing and she supports me, she's in the stands, and oh. it's all about family and love, so that's why I'm here. You came to the right place. That's right, that's right. There's only family and love here in American Got Talent. Yeah. Out of the four of us, who did you like interviewing the most? Uh, you, Simon. Uh, <laughs> what? Anyways, we're very happy that you're here, so I'm guessing you're gonna do some comedy. I'm gonna do some stand-up for you. Okay, so we're ready for you. Yeah. So, go ahead. All right, all right. So we're all getting older. Now, if you're watching and you're 20 years old, enjoy it, but don't take it for granted. Because you can do things us older people can't do. You can go to sleep tonight, wake up in the morning, jump out of bed and just go. No problem for all the people 35 and up like us. You ever go to bed feeling fine? And then when you wake up, it feels like somebody beat the crap out of you? <laughs> Who is beating us up in our sleep? <laughs> How do you get sore not moving? <laughs> I tell you something, 20-year-olds, they love unpredictability. Ask a 20-year-old what they're doing after this show. They'll be like, I don't know, but it's gonna be crazy! <laughs> but when you get older, that sounds dangerous to yeah, me. Yeah. That's like me going, that's like me going, hey, where are we gonna eat? And you go, I don't know, but we're gonna get food poisoning. <laughs> yeah, because when you get older, we like predictability, right? That's why we do the sleep math. Oh, you know what the sleep math is. We gotta know how much sleep we're gonna get before we even leave the house. You did it tonight. You're like, okay, this show starts at eight. It's gonna be over around 10. I'm gonna leave around 10.45. I'm gonna be home around 11.30. I'll be sleeping by 12.15. My kid wakes up at 5 a.m. That's only four hours and 45 minutes of sleep. Man, this show better be funny. Yeah, I'm done Yeah. If you're in your 20s, enjoy it, because you can do things we can't do. Like your bodies work all the time. My left knee is messed up right now. You know how I heard it? Walking across the street. I was walking across the street and my knee beyonce me. It was like, bye, boy. I was like, ah! <laughs> I tell you, I'm just falling apart. Like when you're 20, you can work out on all the machines in the gym. Everything. I'm older, I can't do that. I'm on the elliptical. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nothing takes your man card away like an elliptical. If you don't believe me, look where they put the ellipticals. Behind the treadmills so you can watch real athletes run. <laughs> I think I look so good on this elliptical till I see myself in the mirror like this. <laughs> I'm a punk, that's what I'm saying. I'm a punk. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're still confused on if you're getting old or not, here's how you really know you're getting old. When you start saying things your parents used to say to you. I checked into the hotel not too long ago. The guy at the front desk was like, good morning, Mr. Yo, how are you? I said, any day you wake up, it's a great day. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, my name is Michael Yo. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I really loved it, and I want to see what the judges think. How are we? Let me tell you something, buddy. Your rhythm is great. Your voice is great. Your passion is great. You're lovable and relatable oh. and likable. Oh. You made the right choice, and your kids and family and wife have to be very proud of you right Thank now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I love your story. I love your attitude. I love you, full stop. I think you did a fantastic audition. Thank you. Eric. Oh. Uh, it was great, man. He said, get busy living your dreams. 
it's happening. That was hilarious. You didn't push. You did exactly what you would do if you were playing for 3,000 people, and you nailed it, bro. Nailed it. You're amazing. I would go hug you, but there's like a virus going on, so. <laughs> We're sending we, you so hugs. Let's, yeah. let's hug them with votes. We are going to yes. vote for you. I'm going to give you your first yes. I really enjoyed thank it. Thank you wow. so much. Wow. Howie. Yes. <laughs> Eric. You. Yes. Simon. I'm even kissing you at the same wow. time. OK, yeah. don't go crazy now. Four yeses. <laughs> You're amazing, buddy. It means so much to me. Michael, it means this so is really much. good. <laughs> oh, my God. Amazing. So good. You know, my wife supports me so much, and this is a dream. I've always wanted to just do stand-up. Where is she? Where is she? You know what? Come on, we gotta find her. We gotta find her. Anybody? Oh, damn. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Thank you. I love you so much. Oh, the food. Oh, God. All right, if you'd like to subscribe and see more, click below. Now.